Welcome to our English teaching channel for kids. Today we're going to learn about some amazing aquatic animals. Dolphin, intelligent and playful mammal that lives in the ocean. Shark, predatory fish with sharp teeth and a cartilage skeleton, found in oceans. Whale, large mammal found in every ocean, known for singing in migration. Turtle, reptile with a hard shell, lives in the ocean, known for long lifespan. Octopus, sea creature with eight arms and no skeleton, known for intelligence and color changing ability. Stingray, fish with a flattened body and a long tail, found in warm coastal waters. Salmon fish species known for its migratory habit, found in both freshwater and saltwater. Jellyfish marine creatures that drifts with ocean currents, known for its stinging tentacles. Starfish, echinoderm with five arms, found in oceans, known for regenerative ability. Lobster, large marine crustacean with big claws, found in cold coastal waters. Clam, bivalve mollusk that burrows in sand or mud, found in both saltwater and freshwater. Krill, small shrimp-like planktonic crustacean found in oceans. Crab, arthropod with a hard shell, found in saltwater and freshwater. Eel, snake-like fish that lives in freshwater and saltwater. Swordfish, large predatory fish with a long sword-like snout, found in warm coastal waters. Porpoise, small toothed whale that lives in the ocean. Walrus, large marine mammal with tusks, found in Arctic oceans. Manatee, large aquatic mammal found in warm coastal waters. Sea turtle, marine reptile that lives in the ocean. Squid, marine mollusk with a long body and tentacles, found in the ocean. These are just a few of the many aquatic animals that live in our oceans. I hope you learned something new about these amazing creatures and want to learn more about them. Thank you for watching this video. Welcome to our video on aquarium fish names. Today we're going to be learning about different types of fish that are commonly kept in aquariums. Goldfish, a common freshwater fish, known for its bright orange color. It's a hardy fish that can adapt to a wide range of water conditions. Guppy, a small, brightly colored tropical fish. It's a popular fish among aquarium enthusiasts, known for its vibrant colors and active behavior. Angelfish, a tall, elegant freshwater fish with long fins. It's a peaceful fish that can adapt to a variety of water conditions. Clownfish, a small, brightly colored fish found in coral reefs, made famous by the movie Finding Nemo. It's a hardy fish that can adapt to a wide range of water conditions. Betafish, also known as Siamese fighting fish, known for their vibrant colors and long fins. It's a popular fish among aquarium enthusiasts, known for its vibrant colors and active behavior. Swordtail, a freshwater fish with a distinctive sword-like tail. It's a hardy fish that can adapt to a wide range of water conditions. Neon Tetra, a small, brightly colored tropical fish. It's a popular fish among aquarium enthusiasts, known for its vibrant colors and active behavior. Barbs, a group of freshwater fish known for their active behavior and bright colors. They are hardy fish that can adapt to a variety of water conditions. 
zebrafish, a small freshwater fish known for its distinctive black and white stripes. It's a hardy fish that can adapt to a wide range of water conditions. Discus fish, a large, round-bodied freshwater fish with vibrant colors. It's a peaceful fish that can adapt to a variety of water conditions. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fun and educational videos on aquarium fish. Flowers are beautiful, and there are many different types. Here are the names of some famous flowers in English. Jasmine, a flower with a strong sweet fragrance, mostly white or yellow. Chrysanthemum, a flower with many small petals in a variety of colors. Peony, a flower with large, round, often fragrant blooms in shades of pink, red, and white. Lilac, a flower with a strong fragrance and clusters of purple or white blooms. Phrygia, a flower with a sweet fragrance and small, brightly colored blooms. Iris, a flower with tall, thin stems and large petals, which comes in a variety of colors. Poppy, a flower with large, bright blooms in shades of red, orange, and pink. Gerbera daisy, a flower with large, brightly colored blooms and a long vase life. Anemone, a flower with a simple, daisy-like bloom in shades of pink, red, and white. Hyacinth, a flower with a strong fragrance and tall spikes of closely packed blooms. Clematis, a flower with large, showy blooms and a climbing habit. Magnolia, a flower with large, fragrant blooms and a distinctive shape. Pansy, a flower with a short stem and a wide range of colors and patterns. Iris, a flower with tall, thin stems and large petals, which comes in a variety of colors. Bluebell, a flower with small, bell-shaped blooms in shades of blue and white. I hope this helps you learn more about different types of flowers and their names in English. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Welcome to our English lesson for children. Today, we will learn the names of male and female animals in English. Lion, male, lion. Female, lioness. Deer, male, buck. Female, doe. Horse, male, stallion. Female, mare. Elephant, male, bull. Female, cow. Bear, male, boar. Female, so. Wolf, male, alpha male. Female, alpha female. Tiger, male, tiger. Female, tigress. Moose, male, bull. Female, cow. Gorilla, male, silverback. Female, female gorilla. Fox, male, dog fox, female, vixen. Elk, male, bull, female, cow. Chimpanzee, male, alpha male. Female, alpha female. Cheetah, male, male cheetah. Female, female cheetah. Caribou, male, bull. Female, cow. Buffalo, male, bull. Female, cow. Bald eagle, male, male bald eagle. Female, female bald eagle. Bison, male, bull. Female, cow. Black bear, male, boar. Female, so. Cougar, male, male cougar. Female, female cougar. Coyote, male, 
Male coyote. Female, female coyote. Great job, children. Now you know the names of 20 male and female animals in English. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Flowers are beautiful, and there are many different types. Here are the names of some famous flowers in English. Rose a flower with thorns and a beautiful scent. Tulip a flower with a cup-shaped bloom that comes in many colors. Lily a flower with a trumpet-shaped bloom that also comes in many colors. Sunflower a flower that follows the sun with a large yellow bloom. Daisy a flower with a white petals and a yellow center. Daffodil a yellow flower that is often one of the first to bloom in the spring. Iris a flower with tall, thin stems and large petals. Orchid a delicate flower that comes in many colors and shapes. Carnation a flower with a thick stem and ruffled petals. Marigold a flower with large, bright blooms that are often used in gardens and as offerings in religious ceremonies. These are just a few examples of the many different types of flowers that you can learn about. I hope this helps you in your teaching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Hello, welcome to our English lesson for children. Today, we're going to learn about the names of animals and their babies in English. First, let's start with some examples of animals and their babies. A baby lion is called a cub. A baby deer is called a fawn. A baby horse is called a foal. A baby elephant is called a calf. A baby bear is called a cub. A baby wolf is called a pup. A baby tiger is called a cub. A baby moose is called a calf. A baby gorilla is called an infant. A baby fox is called a kit. A baby elk is called a calf. A baby chimpanzee is called an infant. A baby cheetah is called a cub. A baby caribou is called a calf. A baby buffalo is called a calf. A baby bald eagle is called an eaglet. A baby bison is called a calf. A baby black bear is called a cub. A baby cougar is called a cub. A baby coyote is called a pup. It's important to note that some animals have different names for their babies depending on their age or development stage. Great job, children! Now you know the names of animals and their babies in English. Thank you for watching. Hi kids! Welcome to our English lesson where we're going to learn about body parts, animals, and different activities. My name is Joe and I'm so excited to be your teacher today. Are you ready to have fun and learn at the same time? Let's start with body parts. Can you name some body parts? Head Eyes Nose Ear Mouth Hands Feet Great job! Those are all important body parts. Can you name some more body parts? Arms Legs Stomach Back Excellent! Now, let's practice using these body parts in sentences. For example, I use my hands to write. Or I use my feet to walk. Can you come up with some sentences of your own? I use my eyes to see. 
Exactly. And I use my nose to smell. Good job. Next, let's learn about some animals. Can you name some animals? Dog. Cat. Rabbit. Elephant. Lion. Very good. These are all different types of animals. Can you name any more animals? Giraffe. Bear. Zebra. And tiger. Great. Now, let's practice using these animals in sentences. For example, the lion is a big cat. Or, the monkey is a funny animal. Can you come up with some sentences of your own? The dog is a man's best friend. And the elephant is the largest land animal. Great job! Lastly, let's learn about some activities. Can you name some activities? Running Swimming Jumping Dancing And playing Excellent! These are all fun activities. Can you name any more activities? Reading Writing Drawing Singing Great now let's practice using these activities in sentence. For example I like to swim in the summer. Or I like to read a book before bedtime. Can you come up with some sentences of your own? I like to sing in the shower. Nicely done. And I like to write stories. That's all for today's lesson. You have done a great job we learned about body parts, animals, and activities. Don't forget to practice what you have learned and I will see you next time remember practice makes perfect. Welcome to our English lesson for kids. Today, we're going to learn about some different fruits, birds, and natural elements that can be found in nature. First, let's talk about fruits. There are many different types of fruits that can be found in nature, such as apples, oranges, bananas, berries, lemons, grapes, mangoes, papayas, and pineapples. Each fruit has its own unique shape, color, and taste. For example, an apple is round and red, while an orange is round and orange. Grapes grow on vine and come in different colors like green, purple, and black. Mangoes are juicy and sweet and have a unique shape and color. Next, let's talk about birds. Birds are animals that can fly and are found all over the world. Some common birds that you might see in your backyard or at a park include sparrows, robins, finches, crows, pigeons, and doves. Other birds, like eagles, parrots, peacocks, flamingos, and penguins, are found in different parts of the world and have unique characteristics, such as bright plumage or the ability to mimic human speech. Now, let's talk about nature. Nature is all around us, and it includes things like hills, trees, rivers, and lakes. Hills are raised landforms that can be steep or gentle. Trees are tall plants that have trunks, branches, and leaves. Rivers are flowing bodies of water that can be long or short, wide or narrow. 
Lakes are also bodies of water, but they are usually smaller and surrounded by land. That's all for today's lesson. We hope you enjoyed learning about nature's fruits, birds, and natural elements. Join us next time for another fun and education. Welcome to our English lesson for kids. Today we're going to learn about different fruits, animals and feelings. We'll learn new vocabulary words and practice using them in sentences. It's a fun and interactive way to improve your English skills. Let's start by learning some vocabulary words for fruits. We'll start with the apple, which is a round fruit that is usually red or green. It's sweet and juicy, and it's a popular fruit all over the world. We also have the banana, which is a long, curved fruit that is usually yellow. It's also sweet and it's a good source of energy. We also have the orange, which is a round fruit that is usually orange. It has a lot of vitamin C and it's good for our health. Strawberry Strawberry is a small, red fruit that is sweet and juicy. Watermelon is a large, round fruit that is mostly water and has a sweet taste. Lemon Lemon is a small, yellow fruit that is sour in taste. Peach Peach is a small, round fruit with a fuzzy skin and sweet taste. Mango Mango is a tropical fruit that is sweet and juicy. Now let's learn some vocabulary words for animals. We'll start with the dog, which is a four-legged animal that is man's best friend. They are known for their loyalty and obedience. Cat, which is a four-legged animal that is known for being independent and aloof. They are also known for their grooming habits. We also have the lion, which is a large wild animal that is known for its roar. They are also known as the king of the jungle. Elephant Elephant is a large land mammal with a long trunk. Tiger Tiger is a large wild animal with orange fur and black stripes. Bear Bear is a large mammal with shaggy fur and sharp claws. Giraffe Giraffe is a tall mammal with a long neck and spots on its fur. Finally, let's learn some vocabulary words for feelings. We all have different emotions and feelings, and it's important to be able to express ourselves in English. We'll start with happy. Which is a feeling we have when we are content or excited. We also have sad, which is a feeling we have when we are upset or disappointed. We also have angry. Which is a feeling we have when we are upset or frustrated. Excited. Excited means to be looking forward to something with great enthusiasm. Tired. Tired means to be feeling fatigued or sleepy, and Hungry Hungry means to be feeling the need to eat Scared means to be feeling fear or nervous Now that we've learned some new vocabulary words, let's practice using them in sentences For example, I like to eat a peach in the summer my cat purrs when she's happy I feel tired after playing with my friends It's important to practice using new vocabulary words and sentences to improve our English skills.